everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello. I hope you'll stick around, so subscribe to this channel for more vape videos and give this one a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Don't forget to turn on the bell notification symbol if you haven't already because being a subscriber doesn't mean you're going to see everything I upload. I don't know why YouTube made it that way. So turning on the bell notification notifies you, my notification squad, when I upload a new video, which has currently been three times a week. You're welcome. Check the description box below for important links like where to find me outside of YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. If you're not already following me on those social medias, you might want to because that's where I do all of my vape stuff giveaways. So when a company sends me extra vape things, it's not allowed to give them here away on YouTube. So I give them away on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and sometimes my Patreon account. That will be linked below in the description box as well. That's a vape-related monthly rewards. So depending on which tier you join, you can get e-liquids, mods, or both sent to you from yours truly every month. So check it out if you're interested. Also linked below will be my second channel that I try to upload to twice a week. It's my life channel, so it's non-vape related videos, my other hobbies and interest vlogs and requested videos, things like that. So if that interests you, the links will be below. There's also some coupon codes in the description. So check it out, but let's get into the video. Today I have the Kylin or Keelan RTA. I hope I'm saying that right. This is the Kylan. I'm just gonna say Kylan because that kind of sounds better. The Kylan M RTA. And look, I really hope this is the color I got. I think it is, but how pretty. So this is M, I believe stands for mesh because it has a mesh coil. And the only other mesh coil RTA I've ever tried was the Profile Unity. And I love that. Blew me out of the water. Obsessed. This looks pretty, so let's try this one out. This is from Vandy Vape. And I'm going to stick it out the box. Ta-da! Ooh, I did. I got the rainbow one. Pretty. This is pretty big, too. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. And the, the drip tip. Oh, it's beautiful. So, of course, in the little kit, we have that. And then inside here, we have the coils in these little bags. Look at them. There's the coils. You see the mesh coil sheets. This is the A1M coil, which is a 0.5 ohm. There's two in here. And this is also an A1M coil, but this is a 0.2 ohm and it's in here. So these sheets are both uh, 16 millimeters by 6.8 millimeters. And the recommended power for the 0.15 ohm is 50 to 70 watts. And the recommended power range for the 0.2 is 40 to 60 watts. I'm gonna go ahead and do the 0.2. And I love these little cases that they come in. Oh my gosh. So I wanna show you a close up of the sheet real quick. So here it is. Here is the 0.2 ohm sheet. We also have an extra glass piece, which is a bubble glass. The one installed is a straight glass. We have a quality control certificate, extra O-rings, a bending tool for the mesh coil sheet, extra springs, extra little tiny screws, a little screwdriver, the user's manual for the Kylan M, and some vape cotton laces. Look at this, they call this the exploded view. I do have the iridescent version, but it does come in a lot of other colors. I'll list them off. Gold, frosted gray, stainless steel, blue, gunmetal, matte black, and then the iridescent or rainbow. So here is a close-up of the RTA. It is freaking beautiful. Airflow ring right here. And on the bottom it does have this little plastic to remove the bottom and it is a 24 millimeter diameter base with a 510 pin. It is installed with the 3 mil glass and the bubble glass is 4.5 mils and the drip tip is removable and it is an 810 drip tip. So to install the coil, you just take the base off. You install the coil in there, which I will do. First, I'm gonna loosen the screws on either sides to loosen the clamps. Now you can see that the clamps are a little loose. I'm gonna take the coil sheet and bend it over this little rod. I'm going to insert each end into one of the clamps. So it's like that, and now I'm going to tighten the screws on either side of the clamps. So for some reason, I can't figure it out, my mod won't read the coil, so I'm gonna have to get a different mod. All right, so this mod is reading it fine, plus, oh my gosh, does it not just match the best? I'm gonna put some of my own cotton in because I have it right here ready to go. Now I'm going to cut the ends off. I'm going to stuff the ends down in the here. And voila. 
she's ready. I am wicking it up with some Cloud Kiss. This is a strawberry cake batter flavor. It's my flavor available in 100 ml bottles in 0, 3, 6, and 12 milligrams nicotine. It is a 70% vegetable glycerin, 30% propylene glycol blend available at usvapeco.com. That's U-S-V-A-P-E-C-O.com. You can use my coupon code TIA20 for 20% off this bottle or 20% off any flavor on US Vape Co's website. Also, if you use the hashtag CloudKiss online, specifically Instagram, you can be featured in my Instagram story on Instagram. That's at at home with Tia. I changed all my social media handles. I should have probably made an announcement on YouTube about that. And now to fill it from the top, you just spin this top cap off and you fill in the slots avoiding the center now that it's filled I'll put the cap back on this is a beautiful RTA this is a beautiful setup it's set and ready to go at 40 watts wow I've just taken like a 0.2 second vape and that is powerful So I have it actually on the min setting, the variable wattage. So I'll set it to normal too. So it's at normal at 40 watts, which is the lowest recommended range for this coil sheet. <laughs> it's so powerful. Like the other mesh coil RTA I tried was super powerful too, but this one's like almost too powerful for you girl. So I'm gonna take it down to 35 watts. I mean, just because that's like, that was a lot. Oops, I passed 35. Of course I would. Okay, I'll try this again. Whoop, I'm like nervous, like it's just whoop. The flavor though, girl, boy, whatever, it's good. Mm, okay. I am going to try something a little bit different because that is just force feeding me the vapor. And I wanted to see if this other coil would work because I did try both mesh coil sheets on my other mod and for some reason my other mod wouldn't read it, wouldn't read either of them. So I want to see how this other coil does too since I already bent it and it's, you know, I just want to use it and see it because that one is like force feeding me and it was just too warm and I just like the flavor was okay but like I, I got a better vape from the other RTA that I tried as far as that coil sheet goes but let's try this one. Yeah it's just really force feeding me the vapor. I did turn it back up to 40 for this new coil but I'll turn it down. I'm gonna turn it down to 32 because that's where it landed. I think that's it for me. I think that at 40, it's just, even though that's it's like lower range, for me personally, it's too much. And I can vape a regular coil at, you know, 40, 50, 60, but these mesh coil sheets are way more intense and for this one, for me, it's just, it's it's a lot. And I wanted to check the other coil sheets that I used. Well, see, that's weird, because the other coil sheets that I used in the other RDA are 0.13. So this one's a little bit higher of an ohm, which means it should be just like less forceful, but by golly, that is forceful. And I, I just don't like my vape that way. Like I like a good cloud, but I don't like it warm and forceful. I like to be able to be in control of the vapor and I'd like a cool vape or like a non temperate like a vape that doesn't taste either cool or warm. So I wanted to absolutely love this. And honestly, I mean, I love the color and maybe I just need to try. <sighs> yes. Maybe if it's not the RTA at all and it's the coil guys. So, 
I have these other coils that I got from directvapor.com, Next Mesh Coils by OFRF, I think is what it's called. And yeah, I'm gonna try these bad boys in there because who says I can't? Um, I don't have to use the ones that come with it, but it's nice that it comes, it does come with four mesh coils, guys, so that's awesome. But I am going to try these other coils because then we will know for sure what is up. And you know what? Because I love the look of this RTA and I love the rainbow and I love the drip tip. So. We are going to remove, I'll still use the same cotton. Oh yeah, you can see the cotton's a little bit, like just a tiny bit um, darkened, like the slightest, slightest bit. I'll show you guys, I'll take the coil off. See, just a little bit darkened and you know, that could have been my fault for not um, priming it correctly. So I have these next mesh coils and I'm going to roll this one. I got a brand new one. So I'm hoping this solves my issue. And it's 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 like a personal thing, you know? I, I, I feel like it all depends on what kind of vape you like. So I've got that in there. And I may just like these coils better. Or they might give me the same exact vape and that would be weird. I feel like the changing the coil sheet is gonna make all of the difference. All right. And these ones are 0.13 ohm. And this one is good between 60 and 70. So I'm nervous because of the <laughs> just now. So I'm gonna start at 40, then go to 50, and then go to 60 if I can personally handle it. So we're at 40 with the next mesh coils, but still on the Kylan RTA, Kylan M. I got scared. It makes all the difference. Now, I'm at 40. I don't think I want to go to 60. Because that's a lot. Like, that's enough for me. So maybe for me personally, I just need to vape lower than the recommended when I'm using these mesh coils. But anyway. Yeah, I don't like it that high. And that's still 10 below the range, just like my the other one. Maybe it's the mod. Maybe I need to change, change the mod. You guys, I don't know what it is. Why am I not being able to vape it? Like, it's just too warm. I don't like it warm like that. I know, I think it read it on this new coil. Yeah, so this mod will read the next mesh coils, but wasn't reading the other coils and I'll start this one at 50 because that's where I couldn't do any higher on this mod and see like mm, it doesn't make much of a difference but it does make enough of a difference I don't think I want to go to 60 on here either but I think maybe it was just the mod <laughs> the mod was just too powerful I guess I don't know it's it's definitely more easier for me to vape it. But that, like again, that's a personal preference vape thing. I don't like a warm vape and I don't like to be force fed. So there you have it, the Kylan RTA. You can get it at directvapor.com. That's D-I-R-E-C-T-V-A-P-O-R.com. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Let me know what you think about my little coil experiment here. <laughs> and don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoy it, subscribe to the channel and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.